Symmetry and Patterns Symmetry can be observed all around us. We can see symmetry in man-made as well as natural things. We can see symmetry in monuments, insects, flowers, leaves, designs, etc. Symmetry is a regular balanced arrangement on both sides of a line. If we fold the figure along this line, the two halves exactly match with each other. The line which divides the figure into two halves is called the line of symmetry. Lines of symmetry can be vertical as well as horizontal. Some shapes have one line of symmetry. Some have two or more than two and some have no line of symmetry. This design has only one line of symmetry. This shape has two lines of symmetry. This shape has three lines of symmetry. This shape has no line of symmetry. You can make your own symmetrical shapes. Take a sheet of paper and fold it into half. Again fold it into half. Draw shapes as shown. Using a scissor, cut out these shapes. Open out the paper. A beautiful symmetrical design is ready. The line of symmetry divides the figure into two halves. The two parts are also called mirror halves. Take a mirror and put it in front of the letter B. We can see its reflection. Here the mirror works as a line of symmetry for B and its images. In the previous classes, we have read about patterns. In fact, in everyday life, we see many patterns. For example, Patterns on bed sheets, patterns on grills in the balcony, patterns on the back of a zebra, etc. Patterns are formed by using blocks or shapes again and again. This pattern is formed by using a triangle and circle. The rule for this pattern is one triangle, one upside down triangle and then one circle. Then this is repeated. This pattern is formed by using blue triangle and then green upside down triangle. The rule is one blue triangle and then one green upside down triangle. Then this is repeated. Pattern can also be made with letters or numbers. Here the rule is the first letter is the last letter of the previous term and the letters are in a sequence. So the next two terms would be EF and FG. Now observe this pattern of numbers. Can you find the rule? The rule is multiplied by 2 plus 1. That is, to get next, multiply by 2 and add 1 to get this product. For example, to get 15, multiply 7 by 2 and get 14 and add 1 to it. So the next term of this pattern will be 31 multiplied by 2 plus 1 which is equal to 63. We can use letters and numbers together to make patterns. Observe this pattern. Here the rule is 
the numbers as well as the letters are in a sequence. So the next two terms are 5e and 6f.